comes from beyond time, from beyond the outer limits of your imagination, and he's ready to blow your mind. Ever since I made the eight classic paranormal videos a few days ago, or maybe last week, I don't know when this is going up, uh, I've been getting a few more suggestions on equally paranormal and equally scary videos, so I decided, fuck it, this is the perfect excuse to look at more paranormal shit, let's take a look at some more spooky stuff, and this time, it'll be sent by you, the audience, and a little bit of me, because I'm <laughs> obsessed with paranormal stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. This one's from Marceline. Hi, I saw your video on classic paranormal vids and couldn't help but be reminded of a clip that terrified me as a kid. Look at her face, scary. This is a re-upload, the original was posted in 2006 and garnered around 12 million views. It was privatized sometime last year and unfortunately the internet archive doesn't support YouTube videos anymore. So unless it gets unprivatized, it's likely gone for good. For how many views it got, I'm really shocked at how little memory of it there seems to be online. Lots of the clips you mentioned in your video ended up resurfacing years later and regaining popularity, i.e. the fallen angel clip blowing up on TikTok. But for this one, there seems to be nothing. Even before the video went private, I had noticed most of the comments were from before 2008-2009. Almost nothing recently. It's really weird. As for the video itself, it still creeps me out, and it's a really unique scare, at least for an early YouTube ghost video, and I feel like its obscurity adds to its eerie vibe. It genuinely feels like a cursed footage, and even though I think it's fake, I still love it to bits, lol. Anyways, yeah, I hope this isn't too late or anything, but I thought this would make a good suggestion for Traumathon. Keep up the great work. Thank you a lot, Marceline. I remember this video, actually. Now, I've got a slew of Japanese paranormal videos that I might just explore outside of Traumathon, so don't you worry, it's not gonna stop here in Traumathon. I'll definitely look at more. I mean, pretty much not just with Japanese paranormal videos. I think there's like a sexual awakening with these paranormal videos that I've been doing. It, I, I fucking love doing them, but I especially love Japanese ghost videos because they are so beyond extra. Uh, this one is called Look at Her Look at Her Face Scary, and I love that title. Um, but yeah, this is a classic, man. This is like back in 2009, man. I remember seeing this and I think I thought to myself, fuck, I, I think just in general, looking up Japanese uh, paranormal videos is just like a new gateway for me of like, horror because at the time i was just really into ghost shit and this is like oh my god it's so scary to look at like i have it paused right here i'm gonna i'm gonna put it right up against the face uh, of the monitor you're gonna look at this with me motherfuckers you're gonna see this really up close it's a scary fucking face and obviously it, it has something to do with distortion of the uh camera well not just that but it's definitely edited by someone outside who made this video uh because there's no fucking way that this actually happened live on camera, but it's a it's a great way. Man, this is why I guess I'm really sick of I keep saying this, I feel kind of bad, but I really am sick of like analog horror because there's you guys don't understand. There is a world of creativity that just hasn't been tapped into. Look up old Japanese uh VHS paranormal activity videos you will get inspired if you're someone who makes analog horror they're incredibly well done the effects are really really good please you are not tapping into your creative well if you are just not doing enough if you're just doing the oh, spooky face phone call stuff that that's not enough do do more with the medium anyways it's definitely fake it's but it, it definitely scared the shit out of me, and I know most of you, it scared you too. So, thank you for that, Marceline. This one was sent by no one in particular. Uh, a majority of you have asked, ever since I made that last video, about covering Body of a Pig. That one very famous video where the guy's like, I have the body of a pig. <laughs> And it's like super scary. There's a photo with everything. Oh no, it's like Ganondorf IRL, right? Uh, 
I think Scare Theater did a really good job uh, covering this and pretty much debunking it. Uh, it. It's pretty much proven that the person saying I have the body of a pig is uh, pretty much a faker. Like, the, the, he was part of the whole crew. It sounds like someone who's part of the crew. If you go through the entire channel, you'll find out that the guy has been faking paranormal evidence forever now. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to paranormal stuff, if you've been watching ghost videos as long as I have, you realize shortly that there's a 99.99% .99 chance you'll ever see a real ghost video. Uh, most of them are likely fake and staged somehow, some way. Regardless, the way they're made always makes up for that. So I've always thought that this video was super creepy. The implications of when you die, and especially if you're like a sinner or something like that, instead of going to hell, your your spirit is morphed into some sort of uh, amalgamation of human and pig and and meat and bones you know and that's essentially what this is implying that this person is like a demon and he used to be a human a mortal human with now the body of a pig and that is his eternal form forever and ever and i think that in itself is a frightening idea so i really do love this video for that reason alone but if you're if you're expecting me to say that it's real or something like that it's probably not going to happen when it comes to ghost videos However, it's very well done. I think he also does other scary videos that are, I mean, like I mentioned, there's the paranormal stuff that he's faked before, but I think those are equally as scary, if not more so. So I would check out the guy's channel regardless. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a great video, man. And if I hadn't known it was faked, boy howdy, I would have had nightmares still about this thing. But yeah, it's been proven that it's not real, so. Thanks for the suggestions, everyone, collaboratively. This one's a pretty long video, but I, I've seen a lot of people suggest it to me as well. It's the ghost screaming in the haunted hotel, full length video. It's three minutes long. Let's watch it live with each other. Uh, so essentially this guy is getting reports that there is screaming in this one room, but the room supposedly is empty. Nobody should be there. So the guy's just checking it out. Um, I mean, I'm gonna tell you straight up, it's not real. I, I don't remember if it's part of a film. Uh, I, I do know that there is a movie that features this, and I will talk about that movie later after Traumathon because I really love it. Um, but I don't know if it was made for that movie. <clears throat> but yeah, it's the atmosphere is really well done. Uh, I The one thing that really gives it away, though, is that... Uh, I mean, if you just work in security, like I have, um, then you would know that this these cameras don't look like real CCTV cameras. First, the high qualityness of it is like, like blatantly giving it away, but also like the UI elements just look a little not real. I don't know how else to put it. Um, but I love the tension of it all. Like there, there, the guy goes inside. And then there's like the lights flickering and then you see something. I think before that you got to see like a little figure come outside as he enters. Uh, and then he says, no one's in there. The furnitures have been turned upside down. It's crazy. Oh no. Whoa, spooky. And the carpet's been ripped up. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. It's like a movie, man. But you know what's the best is that it's nothing extra. You don't ever get to see what's inside the room itself oh here it is it's gonna replay the whole thing uh yeah there's the spooky figure whoa but it's nothing extra nobody gets like pushed up against the wall nobody gets thrown you don't see inside the room which i think is the best idea they had because then it, it leaves up to the imagination just what the hell happened in that room it's awesome it's really well made but it's too well made that's the problem with it isn't it it's the fact that it was made like it was a fucking movie. And like I said, I don't remember if it was made for a movie or not. Oh no, it was made for the Blackwell Ghost. Oh dude, I did not know it was made for the Blackwell. I thought it was, oh, oh, okay, cool. That explains everything. Well, I'm gonna be talking about the Blackwell Ghost series of movies, which I'm gonna be, okay, you guys wanna watch something for Halloween? Halloween is coming up in like a few days, guys. Do you have Halloween movies planned? Okay, if you don't, 
and okay, don't take my word for it. It's a hit or miss movie, whether you like paranormal stuff or not. Please check out the Blackwell Ghost, the the entire series. Unfortunately, you do have to pay for each one if you don't have them somewhere here and there. But they're really well made movies. I actually cried during one of them because like it, it the the roller coaster ride the main character goes through is incredible. I will talk about the Blackwell Ghost after Traumathon, but it is such a huge, massive, I guess, franchise that I can't just cover it in one traumathon video this year it's just too big uh but yeah check it out the whole series it's awesome i loved it a ton anyways thanks for the suggestions now this is an old school suggestion from like from the second traumathon series that i did uh it wasn't an email it was a comment but i remembered it ever since then about this ghost called the uh oh god what is it? it's just a, a random evp of a ghost that was shown on Art Bell's radio show, which if you're not familiar with Art Bell, you if you're into spooky paranormal stuff, you'll know that Art Bell had a pretty good radio show that had a lot of weirdos show their EVPs and ghosts and evidence of like aliens and stuff. And he's the guy who had his broadcast interrupted because there was someone who was claiming to work for like Area 51 or the FBI or whatever. And he was like crying and explaining that there is like aliens and they're fifth dimensional beings and we're being replaced. And then all of a sudden the broadcast gets interrupted. Left will be more easily controllable. Discharge. <laughs> In some way, something knocked us off the air, and we're on a backup system now. It's uh, the government, or... I don't know. It has to be something, though. Well, did you hear... Now, you tell me, because you were listening. That was awful strange. There was a really weird guy on the air when it went off? Yeah. Real weird out. Like, uh, going... That's a whole nother story. This one is an EVP of a drowning child. And, okay, I gotta be honest, I never really liked EVPs. I think you could interpret different breaths and different noises from a high-frequency recorder uh, as anything you want it to be, so I never really believed in them. But this one, I can see how it's very scary for some people, and I've heard some people say it's the most convincing EVP they've ever heard. So take a listen. This was recorded again in a completely empty room. Yes. yes and there's there's no there's no chance that um, conversation going on outside that room by any of you or anybody else could have been what we're about to hear. Oh no, no, definitely. And um, about the only other thing you should know is that you will hear water in this clip being thrashed around. And really. There was absolutely no water in this building. The water, I mean, this building hasn't had water for over 20 years. All right, let's let everybody decide for themselves. Here it is. So that is the drowning ghost, as I like to call it. Um, I don't believe it. I mean, I, I, I'm usually not going to believe it. But uh, the, the reason I don't believe this one is because there's just EVP. It's just EVP. There's no video. There's no pictures. Nothing. So even though the guy claims that there was no water, 
nearby, it damn well sounds like there's water. And there's nothing that prevents us from saying otherwise, and I guess thinking otherwise, but yeah, it, it really does just seem like the guy had water running in the bathtub or in the sink or something. Uh, it, it's just too good to be true, man. Like that water is just too prominent. There's definitely some bullshittery involved here and there, but uh, nonetheless, it's a spooky little EVP, isn't it? I, I would love to believe it, man, but the fact that there's no video, no photos, no nothing involved is, uh, it's just damning evidence that it's not real, so, sorry. It's, it's not that impressive to me, but again, I can understand how younger minds might have thought that this is the scariest shit they ever heard. All right, well, I've been talking a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and take a break. Stick around. We'll take a look at some more paranormal evidence that you guys have been recommending. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching so far. Uh, here's the fan art. I don't know who it is. I don't know who I'm going to put up, but hey, thank you for the fan art. It's wonderful. Uh, I just wanted to mention real quick two things. Give a shout out to two people. One of them would be the channel Uninformed Movie Reviews. I think they're really underrated. Uh, right now they're doing a 31 day marathon of just reviewing horror movies for the month of October. And I really enjoy their format. I love the reviews so much and I think they really need some love. So if you can, their link is in the description. Go check them out. Uh, they're doing fantastic work and I'm glad to see someone else doing a 31 day marathon with me. My second shout out goes to Spamton. I got an email at 4.30 in the fucking morning by Spamton just so he could tell me to give him a shout out. So there you go, Spamton. Fucking leave me alone and let me sleep. And we're back. All right, next video that I have a lot of people talking about was this old video made back in 2006. Essentially, there's this family who went out on a trip to Gettysburg and they were filming into the forest when they saw these weird figures show up. See? Well, I don't see nothing down there. Can't be the motorcycles, honey. There's another oh. spark. You see what I'm saying? What is that? A tree? No. You moved it. Now, right? to give some credit, these people don't actually seem like they know what they're looking right at. There. They're not claiming yeah. it's ghosts, but they're still what? really weirded out by it. I have no reason to believe that this couple or this family in general what? faked this footage, nor would they I want to or probably know how to. Uh, no it's crazy. just a really weird video that has like these puffy clouds just moving along into the forest. The one thing I could say it probably is there's there's most likely a highway behind the forest uh, and there's cars just moving by. That's most likely what it is. At the same time, it's really high up there. It, it's hard to believe that it and they're moving at different places, too. It's not like all one level area. It's like various places above the ground. Also, if it's an animal, it has to be really high up there. I just don't know what it is. I really don't. It's it's hard to explain. There's a reason why it's called the most authentic ghost footage of all time, even by some paranormal investigators. Nobody really knows what it is, and even the answers that a lot of people have given don't seem to fit quite right. So it's definitely one of my favorites, although I can't say it's one of the most convincing. I, I, I just feel like there is just something we're missing here. I don't know what, but it's probably something. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for the suggestion. Let's go ahead and check out two more classic Japanese ghost videos that I think a lot of us know. The first one being the Haunted Hospital. I think most of us are highly aware of the Japanese Haunted Ghost Hospital, right? Well, it's this whole fake mockumentary thing that happens where this young lady is reporting on the news uh, of this haunted hospital that she is going to investigate. 
and they interview different people. They have different kinds of evidence, and it's very well done, and incredibly so. It's actually subtitled, which is very rare for a video this old. But with that being the case, it actually makes it a lot easier to follow the narrative. So, since we have this added layer of suspense and characters and all this other evidence that happens on top of it, we get this like sort of build up towards the end of the video. And if you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend watching the Japanese Ghost Haunted Hospital special. It's really, really good. But if you have, stick around because I'm going to talk about that ending, which we're going to watch right now. <laughs> Fuck man, I love that ending so much. It is so creative, it's so excellently done. And this is what I'm talking about. As I said earlier, I know most ghost videos are fake. That, that I, I'm okay with that. But the fact that they can be so creative and the people behind the camera are so inventive with how the ghosts look and how they act is incredible. And I think it's it's a wonderful portrayal. Just the fact that he's holding this huge blob of a flesh mess, it's disturbing. And it's supposed to be like this baby thing. It kind of reminds me of the, the PT baby, actually, now that I think about it. I'm wondering if Kojima took inspiration from that. But otherwise, it's a wonderful video. Seriously, it's seven minutes and it's godlike. I fucking love it. Ah, oh, it's so good. I don't even know where it's made, though. I, I, I wish I knew what show it was, but because it's overseas, it's, it's harder to do research on this sort of stuff. And if I were to dive a little deeper more, I'd probably spend more time than I would like to on one video than I really should. But maybe someday I'll, I'll do more research on these Japanese videos. But for now, seriously, check it out. It's wonderful. Okay, and the last one we'll be talking about is one that's simply titled Japanese Ghost. I don't know if this video is actually part of a show or same documentary or something like that, but it's shot in a way that seems like it's from a show or a documentary. Either way, I, I don't remember if there was a version of this video that had subtitles. I'm sure there are, um, but the one that I remember was this one specifically because it's just titled Japanese Ghost and it comes from 2000 fucking nine. That is 13 years ago, everyone. <laughs> And if I were to be frank, I don't think you really need the subtitles to understand what's happening in this video. Because you can kind of get the gist of what's happening, what the actual characters are going through, just by watching it itself. Uh, other than that, it's a really well-made video where it just goes through this like party that these kids are having. And then all of a sudden they see this one lady with a very pale face and they're just like mocking her from the other side of the, the the restaurant and then they see her like turn around slightly to look at them and it's just like oh it's so creepy and then later on in the video they meet her again in the railroad and well things happen <laughs> But that's not the end of their encounter with her, because as the video goes forward, you can actually see she makes one more appearance. God, the way they present these ghost videos in Japan is just so amazing. The sound, the, the shots, the slow motion, it's always so haunting, it, it, it's so pugnant man i i love it. It, it these japanese ghost videos always have like a punch to them that really fucking makes me scared as shit 
it's not like American ghost hunting shows or American ghost documentaries where it's just like very typical and kind of boring sometimes. This actually has like sound and effort and like obviously it's all scripted and, and very fake, but who cares, man? It's like watching a mini horror film, you know, like a short horror film. I, I love it. I love it so goddamn much. Anyways, I got a few suggestions about this back in Traumathon 1, Traumathon 2, and I, I'm covering it now. So, hey, there it is. Either way, I hope you guys liked this video, and I hope you liked what I covered. Uh, I hope I didn't ramble too much. And uh, yeah, if you have any more suggestions of paranormal stuff, I would hold on to that until after Traumathon, because I really do want to focus more on the paranormal, because they're just so much fun to cover and talk about. So, yeah. Leave those for after Traumathon, and we'll talk more about them later on. But for now, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the ghost footage. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Come back tomorrow. We'll be back with more Traumathon. Love you guys a ton. I'll see you later.